of the home construction spreadsheet, which helps you to organize the process of building your home and come, you know, keeping all the costs and schedule straight and a check to a step by step checklist. So uh, in this part, we're going to be talking about the foundation. So again, you can see that the foundation here is 9520. This is the summary. And now when I move down the spreadsheet, th then we get the details of it. So you can see here's the foundation details that you can spec out. And here's the 9520. And that's where that's coming from right down here. If you need an overview of the spreadsheet, go look back at part one. That'll run through it there. But anyway, let's run through here. So you've got the site work. If you need to come, get a guy to come out there, you know, with a, a, a backhoe or, or something like that to just, you know, fix your site, do your, your dirt work, you can set that up uh if you want to use lump sum you can do it for three you know you can just set that up for lump sum if you want to do a detailed type analysis you can just set it up uh you know put your units here how much it is per, uh, how much per unit <clears throat> here what the units are and the quantity and that'll do similar type thing if you have a relationship like that set up most cases in this for this particular item lump sum will, will be just fine then you got uh, your soil testing for compaction test uh, make sure that it was compacted nicely um, and then if you got soil treatment like termites and stuff like that, you can do all these types of things in here. Again, for this one, this is probably lump sum too, but anyway, uh, just set it up, I guess, detailed to show the differences. Um, you know, then you can also set up like your waterproofing. You can spec that out here. Your footers, if you have any footers or anything like that, you can see down here we, we did like a slab. So this is why it's, you know, uh, just only this is shown down here. But uh, anyway, you, you can do like your footings, you can do your footing material, excavation, anchor bolts, foam boards, reinforcing steel, crushed stone, chairs, concrete layout, uh, you know, your, your foundation labor. So that part is the materials. Then you got your foundation labor. Then you got uh, some foundation materials for like uh, CMU block, mortar, sand, reinforcing steel. You know, you got brick ties in here, piers, all that stuff. You got uh, crawl space labor if you're going to do a crawl space cross space material then down here you can see that you've got concrete slab labor and you got concrete slab materials um, and uh, basically for this one um, it was just all lumped into uh, materials only right so that's going to include cost and labor uh, excuse me materials and labor so then you can add you know miscellaneous if you need to but anyway once you spec out your foundation costs on here That'll give you a total right down here, 9520, and as you saw, it summarizes it right up in this area here, 9520 there. Then when we move right over to the cost uh, chart over here, you can see that uh, your foundation is right here. So this is letting you know, okay, this is 3% uh, of my total, this foundation here. Then when you move right over to the schedule tab, you can see that your foundation is right in this area. So this is where you're going to set up the schedule of when your uh, foundation is going to be completed. So you've got your, and again, if you need a, a an overview on how this sheet, this part works right here, just look at part one. We go through like how, you know, this sheet right, wor right here works, the duration, the controlling step, all this stuff. Okay. But anyway, now here we're going through the foundation, the soil testing. You can see that according to the schedule we set up and the durations and all that stuff and controlling steps and stuff, th it's telling us, okay, the soil testing needs to be happening. By the way, what you're looking at is more of a step-by-step -step checklist. This is uh, I'm sorry, this is the schedule for it. We'll get to the step-by-step -step in a moment here. But but anyway, for your soil testing, you can see that that's, that needs to be happening like around 7 to 8 March, somewhere in there. Your site work needs to be happening three to six, th from 3 to 6 April, somewhere in there. Foundation materials, foundation labor, soil treatment, piers, all that stuff. Some of these, if they're not applicable, you can move them to zero. Um <clears throat> And, and just only have the slab work uh, applicable, you know. Um, then you, uh, once you have your schedule set up and everything is the way you want it with the controlling steps and the relationships as far as finish to start, start to start, lag time, all that stuff. Then, um, and by the way, these are just, these are kind of, these don't, aren't used by the spreadsheet. These are almost like notes right here, but, but these are helping, you know, you to set up what is your controlling step is it is it three is it 25 you know these are almost like notes so you can just be like okay do I need to set this controlling step 27 or 28 or 63 for my particular process so <clears throat> and again these are not orange because normally once you set this up once this is usually pretty good for any any future houses you're gonna build you know um, like if, if you're a custom home builder this can help you you know normally your process won't change 
But if you um, are building your first house, you know, you would just run through this, get it set up once, and then you would basically know the process of, of how you would go forward in the futures. But anyway, let's move on to the step-by-step -step checklist here. Then you can see that the foundation is right here in the in the step-by-step uh, -step checklist. So this is going through um, hire a foundation contractor. That's the general contractor that would do that. Um, then you've got uh, meet with the uh, foundation contractor. And again, so this heading lets us know the approximate time frame for all of the uh, foundations. So all the steps under foundation here, we see that that needs to be happening between 3 April and 17 April. Um, and then we've got, you know, meet with the foundation contractor, establish house corners, uh, prepare the foundation materials uh, list, hire a plumbing contractor, demo the site if needed. You can see now demo the site that that has, okay, 3 April. So these uh, are, we talked about in previous videos, these are um, payment points right here. So this is for labor. So that means you you can expect to be paying the demo guy. Well, in this case, we assumed zero. So we, we're, we're expecting to pay that guy zero dollars. So we're not going to have any demo on this project. But if we were, that would, it would need to be happening around 3 April. And then the next item here on the check, uh, step by step checklist, we've got begin site prep if needed. So again, so that's uh, three April, and that is we can expect to be paying uh, this guy about three grand, um, and on April third. So this gives us uh, gives us an idea of how much we're going to be spending and when are we going to be spending that money and taking that construction loan part of it out. <clears throat> the next item we've got site prep, compaction testing, dig the footings order the foundation materials. So what do these uh, colors mean? So like if you see um, the purple here means that you're ordering materials. The light blue means you're hiring a contractor or having something to do interacting with a contractor. The the light green here is a um, like an unofficial inspection. And then but it, it may you may this it might be an official inspection where you are. You have to look, you know, um, so like and this one is the official uh, plumbing um, inspection right here so this is showing the dark green is showing the official one so this is assuming okay we got he's going to be checking ground sewer water surface storm drainage lawn sprinklers um, all that stuff so and um, we have that scheduled for 9 April but anyway going back up here we, we can see we got dig footings order the foundation materials uh, pour the concrete footings have multiple sources compile framing and, and materials list hire, hire a framing contractor here so this is letting us know okay so we're in the foundation part we're taking we're like on the step-by-step -step checklist we're taking care of foundation stuff but but still we're saying oh well we got to call the, the framing contractor now and hire that guy and get him on the get you on the schedule get your your project on his schedule so that when it comes time when you're ready for him to come to the site um you already took care of uh, hiring him and he's already got you on the schedule and he's finishing up his projects and he's going to be on your site when you need him right and then this is letting you know again you know even though this is the the the, the part where you're taking care of foundation you can see up here this is the heading for for foundation but but here it's saying okay now's the time you need to be ordering exterior doors you need to make sure your windows are selected they're in stock or on order the crawl space for the foundation um, then you you know then you've got your rough in plumbing and again here's the the, the inspections for the plumbing and then we've got um, have the soil treated for termites if acquired soil treatment um, rough in your electrical on 6 April um, make sure the plumbing location uh, measure the plumbing locations for accuracy foundation inspection so here you're doing like an informal foundation inspection here here you're checking the the slab frame for square corners level boards ground beams accurate dimensions here it is that you're having uh, your pier or foundation inspection and then here you've got order the concrete slab materials, pour your concrete slab, uh, do your waterproofing, order lumber for the framing, order foundation survey if required by lender. Okay, so that <coughs> we went through the whole foundation part of this. So that's the end of this part. And thanks for watching.